There we go. It's recording now. <laughs> so yeah, um, the plan of action today uh, in Kerbal. I want to actually. Um, I've been doing something off launch day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're starting our. We're starting our Kerbal save. Um, so I've been working offline with getting the mission log ready for. Uh, the next, like, the initial launches and getting that all sorted so that the the, the, the the save is ready for the Duna missions, which is going to be their main focus uh, to begin with. And I kind of decided, you, well, th this was the one that we did last stream. Uh, we put that one in place, and I think I had HM501 ready to go. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. So, um, off stream, I've kind of done launch two, three, four. Oh, there's a repeat on four, so that's actually launch five. <laughs> that's actually launch six. That's actually launch seven. It's 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 still going. Launch eight. Launch nine. <laughs> launch ten. Eleven. <laughs> I I I got I got a little bit. A little bit excited. Uh, I'm still going 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I've planned out the, the next 20 launches. Hey Ray, how are you? Fail successfully. That's the that's the plan. I I, is, I want to fail successfully. So I I planned out the next twenty launches. Uh, but I I basically what I did. Um, this was actually this morning. I did this earlier this morning. Um, I did the the first the first launch was already ready. So this was always going to be the geostationary relay satellites. So we've got long range relay capabilities around Kerbin. Um, so this was always going to be this. Um, and then I thought, well, let's get the MUN sets up. So then we've got relay satellites for the MUN, and let's get MIN sets up as well. So they're relay. So that's launch two and launch three are the relay satellites for MUN and MINMUS. We will have to work out what we're launching those on and doing all sorts with. I, I should be able to launch uh, three of these on, like, um, uh, I should be able to launch three of these on, like, a... Um, a cog, uh, a Union cargo lifter or something, UAC launcher. So, so we should be able to do that. A medium lift vehicle, and just do the transfer out, potentially, hopefully. Excited? You're excited, sign. Me too. Um, then we've also got the uh, Pollux uh, capsule. I, I then decided that I wanted to do um, training missions for all twelve of the Kerbals. So after we've got the relay satellites up around Minmus and the Mun, we will do training missions for Jeb, uh, like pretty much all our Kerbals, right? And we're going to send them in three three batches. We've got 12, so we've got uh, a four-seat command pod module. The command pod will go out to Minmus, it will circularize, and then it will come back. That's pretty much what it's doing. So then they've got at least a little bit of experience before I send things out to Duna or send them up to the space stations and things like that. Um... At least that's the that's the idea. Um, when we come around to the next astronaut groups, we might do a finalization test like this, but I don't know if I will launch it on Pollux. We might, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something else out. Um, I need to figure out how we're training the Kerbinauts, basically. Um, so I, I think the, the pilots will have to do something with the F4 build that we did uh, last stream in Kerbal. Because we built an F4. That's actually functioning really, really well. I've tidied that up quite a lot. I'll, I might show it later. Hey Raptor, how's it going my dude? Um, excited, uh, but you do. Not me, but you do. Interesting. What? That? That's my failing successfully. I can. I can fail successfully. Sorry, sign. I might have missed that. I lost my train of thought. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't think we'll do this with every astronaut group. Um, just because I think it's a little bit overpowered to have them automatically level up to like uh, one and a half stars straight off the bat. Um, 
but what I will do is, um, for, for the initial Kerbals, we will do this so that they've all got one and a half stars. Because this is supposed to be happening, like, just after the Mark II save. So a lot of the Kerbals... Are the, the, all these Kerbals are the same Kerbals from the Mark II save, right? So so all of these in the Mark II save have flight experience. Uh, some of them even have two stars. I'm not going to go full two stars uh, before we send them on the missions. So, I mean, they, they've all got flight experience. So um, I kind of thought that maybe that's that's what we... I, thinking about it, I should have done that when I was creating the Kerbals. But um, we didn't do that. Um, but that that's fine. Um... Yeah, that it it's fine. Um, it's not to worry. And I could go into a craft file editor to do that, but I thought why not just do it in the save, you know? Um, so so that that's what we'll do. We'll have them all uh, fly by Minmus. In fact, I even updated the uh, Kerbal track here to reflect this as well. So we've got planned missions here now. So it's all blue. Um. Then after we've done all of that. Um, I've got uh, the short-term space station, which is where three of the Kerbals will be launched to on Expedition 1. So that'll be Reynard, Allison, and Thompson. We've got a pilot, a scientist, and an engineer. No particular reason. They're not going to be able to do anything, like, up there, but it's just nice to have a, a low Kerbin uh, station up ready, just doing things there. Also... Um, if I do customer contracts, well, when I do customer contracts later on down the line, you guys can send modules up to that station. Uh, it's got got something for you guys to do. So that that's why I'm having the uh, the short term space station up. I've I've modified the short term space station a little bit so there's more docking interface. Um, so yeah. And then I kind of got down to there, and I was like, well, you know what? We know the next, like, the main focus is the Duna Space Station, right? So I've pretty much, I went through all of the old mission logs. I found all of the DSA T1 launches and T2 launches, and I copy and pasted them in. Um, so we're even going to do them on the same days that we did them in the old save. Um, and, uh, yeah. Now, before we get up to that, I do want to go through all the modules and just update them and tweak them ever so slightly. Uh, just to make sure that they work. So I want to test everything out. That shouldn't take... Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. I should be able to get through, like, the main... Uh, the, like, one Duna train in, like, a stream or something like that. So, so we should be able to get through it quite quickly. And the Pollux capsule won't need changing. The big thing that I do want to test quite a lot is the landers because I have a feeling I have an out-of-date version especially of the Duna lander I have a feeling I've got an out-of-date version of that so I want to doubly triply test that just to make sure that uh, I'm not sending an old version and if I need to update it or upgrade it in some way we can do that also it gives me practice on landing it around Duna and things like that um, so yeah that's the plan hopefully we will be able to get down to launch 20 uh, fairly quickly, maybe within like three streams, maybe. That that might be a bit of a push. That might be a bit of a push, depending on how slow I am to launch. We'll kind of see. Today's going to be kind of like the, the trial to see how quickly I can get through these launch stuff today. Um, the issue that I've got with the uh, Monsats and Minsats is that I haven't really prepped a booster for that yet. Also, why is that... Should all be white. Interesting. There was one where the cursor was the wrong color, and now I got very I got very confused there, and I don't want it to. Yeah, interesting. I don't know what that was about. So yeah, anyway, that's the plan for today. Um, a hundred percent, hundred percent today. We will be launching. Uh, this. However, first, I want to just test, like, I just want to change the actual satellite itself. The first person besides me that actually has planned career pipelines for their Kerbal Nauts. Um, so this isn't the first time, um, 
First I've seen. Uh, so, so yeah, um, S3 KS 25 times by four mammoth liquid fuel engine. Hey Yeet, how's it going? Very interesting that you just put that there. KS 25 times by four. So yeah, the mammoth is the um, is the veneers, right? four of those anyway um what was i gonna say yeah um the first thing i i do want to update this a little bit i do want to update the um the payload uh just a fraction um hopefully i'm not gonna mess around with the size too much um the reason why i want to update the payload is because um there are a few things that are out of date we've got an out of date uh core on there that needs to just be upgraded um, so this is this, I believe. Um, yeah, so the probe core, which is here, look, I don't know if you can see, it's a HECS probe core, which actually isn't as bad as what I thought it was. I thought it was the old Octo, but uh, I want the Octo 2 in there uh, instead of that. Also, it's a lot thinner. Now, it will mean that we lose a little bit of gyros, but I don't yeah no so so we will have to add in some sort of gyro mechanism i think in the wobble x um something else that i want to make sure is 100 percent is these uh actually how much delta v does this have because that's something i okay we've got 800 meters a second yeah that's fine clipping 5000 um, so the way I see it, uh, with this, I'm not clipping out of need, I'm clipping out of, um, visuals. Um, most satellites, when they are stowed away, they have things that will extend. Um, so if we played this here, that actually extends to like that. So I've kind of, like, created a visual-looking, um custom-made dish I guess you could say and then all of the all of the um, important stuff like the uh, the fuel is is inside there something I was interesting so that's inside the actual engine bay housing so it's not like I'm clipping out of clipping out of clipping out of necessity it's I'm clipping so um, it kind of functions like an actual satellite. <laughs> I'm not going out of the uh, uh, insane like clipping. Like I'm I'm clipping it so that it, it functions like an IRL satellite does. Um. So yeah. But uh. Yeah. W one of the things I want to do is change the probe core in the in the center. So it looks cool. Like it it it's not because I need to do it. It's because it's just because it it looks so so it looks cool basically. 100 vectors in one. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's cheating. This, I wouldn't say this is cheating. I would say this is, this is adding complexity and actually making it harder because if, if one of these, uh, if one of these relay antennas breaks or whatever with the robotic arms, which is incredibly likely, um, it was lucky as hell. Yeah. Um, yeah, if, if, if one of these relay antennas breaks, then the whole thing doesn't work. So, like, there's more parts, more things to go wrong. And yeah, it's, I don't, I wouldn't consider this as, uh... Oh, wait a second, is that not the root part already, then? Oh, it is. Damn it, is, uh, is everything attached to this? Oh, no, that, that could be bad. We might have to do a rebuild on this. So I think everything's attached to that. No cheating in single game. Uh, yeah, no, no, you, you're right, uh, Raptor. When I say cheating, I mean I would be cheating myself. Right? Does that make sense? Because I'm making it easy for myself. Uh, so, 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 so you can cheat yourself in a single player, but, um, if it's fun, whatever, like, you set your own rules, right? 
And the whole point of video games is that it's meant to be fun. Sorry, I should have clarified that. So what is actually attached to this? So the... Oh no, everything is attached to this. Okay. Oh no, I've even got those. Oh, this is going to be... I'm going to have to completely rebuild this, aren't I? to get to this stupid probe core. Nice challenging games are fun, yeah. All to take out this stupid probe core. Okay, well, I'm an idiot because I didn't think about this when I was doing this. I should have done it on that. Should have done that on one of those. Um, how much mass does this have? 1.1 tons. That's the right way up, right? Yes. So I'm going to have to redesign this whole thing. Well, that sucks. I didn't think I would have to do that. Today, but okay. Let's see if we can get this right. Hmm. How did I do this? Oh, yeah, 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 that was it. we go. That looks about right. That's no, still not quite. That's annoying. It was, it was snapping to absolute. I don't... Hmm. Oh, now it's not going to actually attach on, is it? Maybe I should have done this first.
It was something like that, I believe. And then we've still got the modern propellant and stuff to go in. Fact, I know for a Now for a fact this was Did you toggle absolute, absolute to local? No, it was it was on absolute uh, when I was doing it. Yeah, look, it's on absolute right now, so it should should snap to the center, but it isn't, which makes me think that maybe. Maybe this isn't. Aligned on the absolute. See what I mean? Like, it should be lining up. Hmm. I know, right, Blasty? It's very irritating. witchcraft sometimes yeah there, there are things in this game that I just do not understand really are I think that's the issue is the fact that that wasn't placed correctly when I did the original build. So I've built this in such a way that it's... I've built this in such a way that it's just not functioning correctly. Hmm. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just, I'm, I'm instead of just sticking it on, taking it off and putting, you know, I'm just like hoping for the best. I'm literally going to take everything off and build it again. For the antenna work nicer than 90 degrees? Uh, no, I... I don't think so. The, the mistake I made was attaching things onto the frickin' tanks. I shouldn't have done that when I designed the actual. Uh, hold on. Question. Bet that doesn't have a crossfeed, does it? This part can be placed inside in inventories. Is there a crossfeed through these? Oh no, there is. the 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 modular girder segment does have a crossfeed. Okay, that's good. It should have a crossfeed. It does. the girder. So 
that's right. All right, let's put the uh, these panels on. Let's attach it to the girder, shall we? So they're not attached to everything else. The grip pads. Point naught seven tons, so that's still okay. I think I wanted to get rid of these. Uh, seriously, I think I wanted to get rid of these solar panels, but I don't know what else I could use for them. The main issue I was having was that um, when these communication arrays are extended, uh, it blocks the solar panels. Uh, but I don't know what else we could do. Even even though that the, that the solar panels are longer than than this, it's yeah, it still gets blocked. I've been using all monoprop for small satellites lately, uh, mostly because I need RCS for rotation. No reaction wheels. Um, the large single direction RCS thrusters are almost as good as an ant. Um, so yes. Um, the reason I'm choosing the ant is because I need the greater thrust. Um, because it has more thrust than the um, than the uh, the RCS. I have used, uh, I have done in the past RCS. Uh, actually, does it have better thrust? I think it's like twice as much, right? And it's less mass as well. Yeah, this set with big antenna has a lot of mass, yeah. I, 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 I've done a lot of, um... I've done a lot of, uh, what'd you call it, as well. Um, RCS satellites, too. Which are very fun to do, I, I get what you're saying. that open. Aha. goes to like here, right? Let's Vectors are the best, hey Maz, how's it going my dude? I don't I don't have vectors unlocked on the save yet. Not that I've done anything on the save. Oops. Oh no, it got rid of my, um, ugh. This is why you don't ever hit, ever, ever, ever hit Control Z. It's a pile of garbage. It always does more harm than it saves. Don't make a mistake, model, okay? Okay. Oh. 
that doesn't look right. 